working every day to meet the needs of families. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me is Cindy Herdman Ivins. She is with Family Services Association. Thanks for being with us. Thanks so much for having me back. You work with a wide variety of families and work on an everyday basis to meet their needs. And those needs are far reaching. Talk to us a little bit about your agency. Sure. Family Service provides. Ser we serve families all over the place in our family centers, to our outpatient counseling. We offer a variety broad variety of services. But one of the things that I'm really excited to chat with you about are our volunteers. April is Volunteer Celebration Month and I was astounded to learn that we have served over 11,000 hours of volunteer hours in our programs. It's huge. It just makes us be able to reach so many more families. It's, it's such a gift. When you have that many volunteers, you're able to reach many more people. Let's talk about one of the ways in which you can do that. You have a program called Project Save. It's service assistance through volunteers for the elderly. You're able to utilize your volunteers in a wide variety of ways, but many of these volunteers go into homes and provide right. care for the elderly, but this also gives caregivers some much needed respite as well. Absolutely. Project Save is an Atlantic County specific funded program where we send trained volunteers into homes where families are trying to keep their loved ones who have dementia or other Alzheimer related issues home with them. But caregiver burnout is huge. So our trained volunteers go and provide a few hours of respite every week, enabling, fam enabling their loved ones to go out to lunch, go grocery shopping with a clear mind that family service is taking care of their loved ones. And that's just one of the programs. You recently had a diaper drive, and this was very successful. But you say this is a program, this was a diaper drive that could serve as a model. Absolutely. Actually, Northfield Community School and some local Girl Scouts got together and did diaper drives for us. Right now, you know how expensive diapers are, and this is a way of families helping other families literally stay dry and well. And, and through our family centers, we distribute them out. And this, you say, could be used as a model if other organizations or other troops are interested in doing something like this, they could just reach out to you? Absolutely. If you go to our website, www.fsasj.org, or call and ask for our development department, we will help you structure another diaper drive. And that can really take a burden off of a family, because as you mentioned, diapers can really add up in terms of costs. Exactly, exactly. You are in the midst right now of kicking off Operation Backpack and back to school time can be a challenge for many families because costs start to add up. Talk to us about how this works. We all know our first day of school and we remember how good it felt to have a new backpack with school supplies ready to go. So many families today, as you said, cannot afford that. We collect backpacks and school supplies and outfit children so they're ready to be prepared to start off successfully for a new school year. Please check our website for more information and drop off locations throughout the county. And it can really make that difference for getting a child prepared for school and helping that child to have that level of confidence as well. Absolutely. As you mentioned, visit the website or call for locations for those drop-off bins and the specific items that are needed. We've been talking a lot about kids, but you have programs for adults as well. We do. Uh, of course, we have our regular outpatient counseling offices on both the White Horse Pike and English Creek Avenue locations. But also we do offer financial literacy, employment counseling, and other supports in our family centers for any adult who is looking for support. And even more fun is our upcoming wine and chocolate event where we are looking to thank all of our supporters at the Noise Museum on July 13th and also raise more awareness about what Family Service has to offer. And just a few seconds left, but if people are interested in attending that, again, it's July 13th at the Noise Museum. And again, visit your website for more information. Thanks Absolutely. so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. We've been talking with Cindy Herdman-Ivins. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Newsmakers.